Hi guys! So whether you're a student or a mom, you're probably in back to school mode right now. I loved this time of year growing up. I thought it was so fun to buy school supplies and get organized. So I'm going to show you three cute, easy projects to make leaving summer behind and going back to school a little more fun. I'm Brooke and I'm passionate about making beautiful things for my family on a budget. First up, we're going to make this adorable pencil pouch out of fabric and duct tape. And the best part, it's no sew. Yes, you heard me, no sewing required. Here's what you're gonna need to get started. Some fabric, I love these squares from Michaels because they're already pre-cut. A zipper, some duct tape, and a glue gun. So I've chosen this really cute leopard print and the first thing we're gonna do is line the back with duct tape. I think it looks super cute when you open the bag to have it be a different color or texture. And then you're gonna trim the edges. This is what it should look like. And now we're ready to attach the zipper. So you're gonna need your hot glue gun and you're just gonna to wanna to glue along the outer edge. So once that's glued on, you're gonna fold the top portion down halfway and glue the rest of the zipper on. The hot glue dries really fast, so you might wanna apply it in two inch sections. Now you can see it's starting to look like a pouch. So you're gonna to wanna to unzip it and turn it inside out so we can finish up the sides. We're gonna take our hot glue gun and just draw a small line right along the inside edge and then just press together. So we're actually done. All we have to do is turn it inside out and see how our pouch looks. <laughs> this is always the nervous part. Did it turn out or not? Oh, it looks really good. So you can kind of leave the corners tucked in a little bit and have a rounded edge or you can push them all the way out and have a true rectangle. This could be the cutest pencil case ever. Next up are these cool DIY geometric clipboards. I got a three pack of clipboards at the office supply store for like four bucks, some chalkboard paint, adhesive dry erase paper, and whatever kind of stickers or washi tape you wanna to use to decorate with. So the first thing we're gonna do is peel off the dot. How cool is this? It's just dry erase, but a big sticker. And we're just gonna lay that down in the middle of the clipboard. So we're not fully applying it right now. We just wanna trace the edges so that we have an outline for where to paint. I've chosen the chalkboard paint. I just really like the matte black finish. So our paint's dry, and now we're ready to apply the dry erase sticker for real. So you're just gonna match it up with your lines. Press down really firmly this time to make sure you get all the air bubbles out and then just fold the sides under and stick them on the back. So you can be done here, but I'm gonna customize this one with some embellishments so that it'll match the other two I've already made. And then a little L for Lincoln. I love the way this turned out. And while Lincoln's not doing homework quite yet, I can hang it in the kitchen and it looks really cute to write his notes on about doctor's appointments, food, all that kind of stuff. So this next one has a funny story. I originally planned on doing a whole DIY lunchbox where we were gonna decorate the front and then do something on the inside. However, I went to 11 different stores and no one sells plain metal lunch boxes. Like the metal aluminum lunch boxes? No, I don't think I've seen those like in years. <laughs> okay. Apparently I've been out of the game for a little while, but I finally found these cute metal lunch boxes that have different characters on them at Party City. And I'm gonna show you a cute DIY trick to do on the inside. All you're gonna need is a roll of black adhesive chalkboard paint paper and some scissors and a pencil. Open up your lunch box and flip it over and then take your peel and stick paper, lay it on top, and just kind of try to trace the shape. It's not gonna be perfect, but this is gonna give you an outline for where to cut. And now we're gonna cut it out along the inside of the line you just drew. So once you have your shape cut out, you're just gonna peel off the backing and stick it on the inside of the lid. And I really like to use these chalkboard paint markers to write on it rather than chalk, just so you don't get that residue around their food. This is such a simple DIY and it just makes the kids lunch a little more special. All right, I really hope you guys are gonna give some of these a try. Tell me in the comments below what other back to school projects you're working on. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next Friday. Bye.